Running your broadcast from the cloud is extremely convenient. You basically can upload your content, turn on the station, and it runs 24-7 without you having to do anything extra or having to invest in a permanent internet connection or having a computer dedicated to the task of running a radio station. So it's not only convenient, but saves you a lot of money. However, if your station is indeed running 24-7, you can certainly not be in front of your station 24-7. Thus, there's the need to automate certain tasks to happen automatically at scheduled predetermined points in time. And in this video, I'll show you just how to achieve that. This is done from the Schedule tab under Scheduled Events. Here you get a calendar view showing you a quick overview of the period you're looking at. So let's go ahead. Uh, this is Wednesday, 21st of October 2015. I'm going to go ahead and create a scheduled event for tomorrow. And you can see the scheduled event is for... Let's make it for 1 o'clock. And this is... Uh, uh, GMT plus 2, which is Africa time. And I'm going to repeat this event so that it occurs only on certain weekdays. I want to repeat it every Thursday and every Monday. And I want it to stop after two or three cycles. So according to this schedule, the last date would be 5 November 2015. I'm also going to change the color code to, let's say, green and give it a name. Oh, actually, this would make more sense. Now we have to decide what needs to happen at this time. And you can create one or more tasks that's executed at this specific time. A quick overview of those tasks would be stop the station, start the station, skip the next track, clear the queue, randomize the items within the queue, turn lo looping the queue on and turn lo looping the queue off. Um, there's also functionality for playlists. You can clear a specific playlist, shuffle a specific playlist, add a specific playlist to the queue, add a specific playlist to another filter, or add one playlist to another playlist. Or you can work with rotation logic like switch to a different play block, pick track from playlist, or pick track from, an, from a filter. For this example, I first want to switch to a different play block. And I've already created the afternoon show play block, so I'm going to switch to that play block. And after switching to, to it, I want to go ahead and clear the queue to make sure that uh, my rotation logic starts picking tracks to play from the queue. And for this particular event, I want to say that the duration of it is going to be four hours. The afternoon show is four hours long. It's very important that this is only for display purposes. This event will execute once immediately. The, it will switch to the afternoon show play block, then remove all items from the queue and then stop. But it's useful to show that the afternoon show event is four hours long, as this will be displayed nicely on the calendar here. So you can see the show is four hours long. I can also easily edit on the calendar itself by dragging and dropping or maybe changing the time that the event will start. And this way, tomorrow at 1.15, the afternoon show will start by first switching to the afternoon play block, then clearing the queue. Now, if I jump forward to next week, you'll notice because I put on a recurring event, it's gonna execute on Monday, Thursday, then on the next week, another Monday, another Thursday, and if I will move one on, it's not going to execute the week after that. Let's go ahead and create another one, so we can go for another example. I can say create event. It's going to call it demo two, and I'm actually going to use the advance option here. And here I can say execute this every Friday. Let's say nine in the morning, nine in the evening. Let's say 5 in the morning, 5 in the evening. 
and the task I want to do is clear the queue and let's make the display a little bit shorter here I'm gonna make it 10 minutes and I want to make the color um, kind of a yellow here and let's go ahead and save that here you'll see that this task executes at 5 in the morning at 9 then 5 in the afternoon and then 9 in the afternoon so a uh, closer frequency repeat interval and you see that executing the next week as well and the next week after that as well and here you can see another event that I've scheduled uh, just for con to avoid confusion I'm just going to remove that quickly and there you have it quickly and easily to schedule automated tasks to execute at a specific time of day let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper in all of the tasks that can execute so the first important thing to understand well, let me just go get this a name so the first thing to understand is that tasks execute in order so if I say clear the queue then shuffle the queue well the queue will be empty and shuffling it right after that won't make a lot of sense but those tasks will execute in that specific order so let's go and try and make a better example here let's say I'd say add a playlist to the queue so I want to add my hit music playlist to the queue to the bottom of the queue and save that as a task but actually before I add something to the queue I want to make sure it's cleared because maybe the queue contains a thousand items already and I want the queue to be empty before I start so I'm gonna actually drag that to the top so now my queue will be empty before I add my heat music to the bottom of the queue and this actually can become very important if you get forget to clear the queue the queue might fill up and at the end of the day contain 20,000, 30,000 items because you're adding items faster uh, faster to it than it can play and the your queue keeps on growing and then at some point you'll hit the 30,000 item limit and your schedule event will start failing okay so this is basic event let's call it hit music to queue and I'm gonna repeat that every Thursday and let's make the color for this one purple and there you have it you can monitor your scheduled events if everything went well in the health tab you'll see I scheduled one year demo event well, well, which will execute in about a minute so I'm gonna wait a minute and then I'm gonna show you in the log file when that event scheduled how that looks like it is now a few seconds after demo event was supposed to execute so let's go to the health tab and see what happened and here you can see scheduled event demo event executed successfully so everything went well and this is where you can monitor if your scheduled events is working as expected let's cover another common case let's say you need to play a station ID on the hour every hour let's create that event I'm gonna call this hourly station ID and I'm going to change the type to advanced I want to do this on the hour and it's going to be let's say every weekday so it's not going to repeat on the weekends but I can click here to enable it for all the hours so it's easy way to select all the boxes is by clicking the header here or I can click all or none here will have the same function and I actually want to make this quite short um, the display duration just five minutes and I'm gonna make it red and what I want to do is say pick track from filter so from my station IDs filter I want to use the 
sweeper separation and weighted logic should be fine and I actually want to put it at the top of the queue so if there's items already in the queue that it's at the top of the queue and as, song is, as soon as the currently playing song ends it will then play the stage in ID and let's go ahead and save that to see how that looks as you can see lots of events showing up now but this allows you to quickly schedule one event to execute hourly and automate the whole process for you. With scheduled events you can truly achieve set and forget broadcasting. Configure your station to execute commands at the right times and to run exactly as you need it to without you needing to be there. That way you can go to bed sleeping soundly knowing that your station will stay online and sound great.